Twitch and or YouTube, depending on where you're watching. It's back to the randomizer. Starting a little bit late today, uh, because I realized my pants smelled terrible. And that's the end of that story. Uh, more importantly, it's Sekiro Randomizer. Uh, so let's get back to it, then. Good old Junichiro decided he'd be bothering us in place of the ape? Headless ape? Guardian ape? Whatever it's called. Whatever his name was, he's dead now, which is appropriate since he was hanging out in Junichiro's spot. Uh... I'm a little bit stuck on where to go at this point, to be perfectly honest with you. But I've thought of... You always forget your cloud strife. But I've given it a bit of thought, and I do have an idea. Nathan, what's going on? Let's go to... I think it's Sempo Temple. Uh, yeah, Sunken Valley Cavern. This isn't the main path, but I can go and do it now, and I kind of want to, so... Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go investigate a, uh... Let's pay an old friend a visit. Not, uh, not you. You're good. You're still here, huh? Uh, let's go out this way. Oh, remember that big old snake? That sneaky snake who bothered us earlier? And then, again, even less earlier? I missed. Alright, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. So it requires a bit of a running start, I see. There we go. Nasty bit of business, that. Arg, what's going on? Hey, we needed that. The Mibu breathing technique. The secret method of breathing knows the Mibu breathing technique. The Slayton skill allows one to dive underwater and breathe indefinitely. Those who seek to join the possession must master the Mibu breathing technique without it. The Divine Dragon has cannot be met. Well, that was super useful. Glad I thought about going that way. Rad. Let's see what else is it. What other fine treasures lurk? All right, well, that was a waste of my time. But, you know, that, that diving underwater and breathing thing's pretty great. Antidote and scrap. Okay, well, none of that's... All right, none of that was entirely necessary, but the breathing technique I needed. What's up with me? Uh, not much. In my personal life, I'm, like, one achievement away from Titanfall 2, and if you know the game at all, you know what achievement that is, so that's super fun. Uh, I'm in a precarious position right now in Sekiro where I can't make any progress that... Well, I mean, I can, I think, jump off a cliff here. Need to breathe when you've got Makiri counter. I mean, I can't Makiri counter the water, alright? Splash. As much as I would like to, there's no Makiri counter for water. It's not quite that good. And, um, here's a a bit. I don't know what that is, but something saw, like a fish saw me over there. Could go kill him. There's an item over there. Nice. Lump of grave wax. It's interesting because now I need to go, not with that attitude, I don't think, present to me the attitude that I would need to have in order to Makiri counter the water, and I'll, I'll, go, I'll see about making it happen. I'll adjust my attitude. So you can go to that gorilla's area and progress by diving, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, progress uh, being sort of limited, everything's randomized, so fuck, I might not even have the item... The item that spawns there that I need to progress or progress might not actually be there. But now that I have diving, I kind of annoyingly need to go back to every area I can dive under the water and check every item because it might be the one I need to continue. So that's going to be a little bit tedious, but you know, at the very least, uh, we have a plan. 
My plan for this stream was to jump into a hole and hope for the best. Now I've got, you know, a ton of stuff I need to do. Boy, it's not really paying out the water so far. I'm looking for, like, keys or ancient artifacts. Things that really scream I'm important, you know? Was that Dynamax pass coin? Uh, yes. Confirmed for uh, the Gen 4 remakes. Dynamaxing is back, and they gave fucking Basquin a Gigantamax form. I was surprised. So it's possible you can finish the game on this stream or the next one. Uh, boy, if, like, everything comes together and, like, I don't waste any time being an idiot, I could probably finish today. I think tomorrow is much more likely. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, Sempo immediately leaps to mind because there's an item you kind of are supposed to get in the water there. I have no idea what it currently is, obviously, but... Also, I think I need to go to the castle, the moat I need to check out. And then if we haven't found anything, I can go back to my... Right. Frickin' sniper, I swear. How's my, um... Four. All right, well, what, what have we got? Uh, do I have increased stealth anywhere? Yeah, suppress presence. I need that. Well, it's only one for suppressed presence, so... Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Didn't see you there, buddy. I completely missed you. I apologize. Boy, you're quick on the draw, aren't you, friend? So glad that you were his backup. All right, dive down here. See, so yeah, normally this is like a, uh, or at least one of the items down here is super important. But it's kind of hidden because you're not meant to have the technique by the time you come here. I think it's this item specifically. Could you tell that maybe this one was important based on, you know, its position in the statue there? Ooh, Father's Bell Charm. A bell charm previously owned by the Owl. The Owl held this bell for a long time, offering it to the Lapidated Temple. Uh, may result in seeing a different memory than before. There's no way of knowing why this protective bell exists. Perhaps the Owl kept it for himself. Perhaps he meant to give it to someone. Owl, for those of you that don't remember, is my father's name. We saw him in the memory as the huge dude who was, like, dying in the burning house. I wonder if that means I can no longer, um, go to the original boss door since I still don't have the fucking key for that. Yeah, yeah, someone saw me. Ask me how much I care! Some ominous chanting, I hear. Fathers or master teachers? Well, adopted father. So, both? Anyway, uh, the castle to the moat. I think father figure would describe it better. He adopted us and raised us as a child, so... I mean... Yeah, I would call him father. He's, he's, he's literally referred to as owl father. Within the game. Uh, Old Grave, I think, is closest. He found us on a battlefield and took us in. My nose, I don't know what it is. It's probably all the cocaine I snorted right before stream. Super itchy. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's blood. Ah. Drugs, kids. They let you operate after, you know, your sleep pattern's all messed up. Ow. All right. Keep forgetting I have that Ichiman double. There we go. Hey there, friends. 
That was a twofer. Splash. All right. Oh, hey. There's actually an item down here. Oh, good. All right. I need to be careful because I think there is a boss under the water here. Or at least, like, a mini boss. And I don't like fighting that mini boss. I say that mini boss because I didn't randomize the, um... Fuck. The, um, the headless bosses. So, and I'm pretty... Yep, I think that's him over there. Of course he's guarding a bunch of fucking items. Headless suck. I don't want to fight them. They're awful. Ow. Case in point. But I kind of I kind of need what he's uh It help if I could remember the fucking water controls. I kind of need what he's selling. So Al was a stepdad and a teacher. I mean, yeah, he raised us. Uh, reduces terror. I also want... I have some divine confetti, right? Because that shit wrecks. Uh, headless. I do have divine confetti. Alright, so I'll pop some of you, I guess. Pop some of you. And let's hope I can kill this thing. Water oh my god, what is he doing? The water fight is weird. That said, I'm doing a good job. Alright. Steroids. More, I think, tranquilizers in this case, but hey, it worked. Alright, that wasn't, uh, that's nice. It wasn't really worth it. That wasn't worth it at all. Not worth it at all. Alright, well, that was a waste of my time. Not at all worth it. Anything else over here that will make it even somewhat worth it? Not a damn thing. I came all the way down here and there's not a damn thing for me. None of that was needed. Don't forget that you can kill the training dummy for an item. Oh yeah, I do have the... Ow! Where the hell is that fish? You son of a... Get back here! Yeah, that's right. Both of you. Anyway. But yes, thank you for reminding me about the training, dummy. After I'm done with the rest of uh, the moat, I'll go check that out. And uh, then I'll head to the poisonous valley of awfulness. Oh, excuse me. Guys. Wow. Busy in here. I'm just... Okay, listen. You clearly... <laughs> Clearly are busy. I'm gonna go. You don't need me hanging around, right? What have I ever done for you? Whoo! Anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's a little bit. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Aha! Oh, right, there's the mines, too. The uh, dungeon full of awfulness. I can dive around under there. Now where am I? Nowhere interesting. Cool. Well, that was, uh, disappointing. Uh, guess I gotta go kill the training dummy, and then I'll check out the mines, and then the poisonous valley of fun times that I'm definitely not putting off. Uh, uh. Shockingly, a From Software game with a valley full of poison that, uh, I'm not thinking fondly of. From software uses poisonous valleys that aren't fun to move around in. Uh, like Skyrim uses loading screens. They're just everywhere. So how do I get out of here? 
Like, I know I, there was that way under the water, but if I fell in here, you know, without the diving ability... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Dive HM confirmed for Gem 4 remakes. I hope uh, HMs aren't in the game. That'd be nice if they weren't. Pokemon confirm things again. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it makes me chuckle every time, honestly. So I can't, you know, fault him for the joke. Uh, dive's not a bad move. It's a good physical water move. It's like dig, but diving with water. As long as defog isn't in the game, I think we'll be fine. But you're doable as you know, sir. Leave this place. Don't I have a mortal blade? So like, isn't this uh? So wait, do I have to like talk to him to kill him, or can I just like use mortal blade strike on him? box is empty. That box is if you've lost or missed a story important item, which is super probably useful in a um, randomizer. Uh, shame it didn't have anything for me. That it was a Some color I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, he's undead. I, I, sure. Uh, I have a mortal blade. I have a mortal... Whoop, I, I have a mortal blade. Come back if you have... Uh, okay, hey, I have a mortal blade. There we go. Ah, uh, it's a mortal blade. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I have to, like, leave, and he... He prepares for his death or something? Right, yeah. So let's reload the area, I suppose. Well, I say, I say leave. I just need to, like, give him a moment of privacy. You ready there, champ? I can finally die. Certainly can. Shame for not following my master into death. Finally. You're certain of this? Yes. I want you to kill me. As you wish. Go on. Why does he have a Hannibal Lecter mask? Anyway, um... Mortal Blade! He wants to die. He, first of all, he drops an item. Secondly, he can't die because of that awful like centipede in him. Uh, those centipedes, whatever the hell they are, grant immortality. Uh, they usually steal your mind. For whatever reason, it didn't steal that guy's mind. And um, yeah, he just wants to die. What'd you drop? Sugar. Thanks. Thanks, Kaida. You know, when I when I said give me some sugar, that's not what I meant. Ah, well. What are you gonna do? I think I go here? I was hoping he just had an item. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so down there's where we fought the Guardian Ape, or Junichiro, so let's check that out, uh, what it is that's so precious and cool down here. Do you see how this area is kind of, like, meant to be open and fun to move around in while fighting the ape? Was not the case on the roof of the damn building, let me tell you. Alright, so what have we here? Oh, for God's sakes! Oh yeah, it's a super important item I need to progress that's normally here. It's a fucking pottery shard. And a very strong mind, perhaps. And that's why the centipede couldn't or didn't take over his mind. Possible. I think plenty of people have had strong minds that succumb to the uh, creature living inside them. Maybe it was a matter of time. He caught a weak centipede, it's true. Maybe it just sucked. Could have been, um... Could have been he wasn't infected terribly long. Uh, they made a comic for him. I haven't read it, though. Oh, huh, neat. Maybe, uh, they got close to the immortality they sought without, uh... Like, wrecking your mind, because that's what they're trying to do over at, like, Sempo Temple. But, uh, he longing for death was like, fuck that noise, and just, you know, left. 
It's like, I'm not going to be your experiment test subject thing. So yeah, down there is technically an area I can be. The problem is it's... I need to descend into it slowly. Not, you know... In a way that's going to end up with me dead. Oh, hey, I'm descending into it slowly. Look at that. Look at that. He's Ellie? Yeah, sure. Last of Us starring that guy and uh, Sekiro. I'd watch it. Play it, read it, what have you. Okay... Uh, now down at the bottom of the valley. Poison! Oh, worth it. Last of Us 3 confirmed. This game came out before Last of Us 2, so Last of Us 2 is actually Last of Us 3. It's confusing that way. It's like how there's nine Resident Evils before they got to, like, Resident Evil 6. Or 30 Assassin's Creed... Now they had, like, Assassin's Creed 2, then Brotherhood, then, uh, Revelations, and then 3. And it's like, uh, excuse me. Don't believe you know how to count, Ubisoft. Good old Poison Swamp. What am I fighting here? Oh. Hey, buddy. Seemed like a fair fight. Heavy coin purse. Ah, a merchant. What a terrible place for you to set up shop there, buddy. Another one. <laughs> what do we got? Ah, uh, that's useful. Sempo esoteric text. Isn't that a plot item? <laughs> Uh, a lot of the plot items are just hanging out in stores, huh? Uh, Senpo, yeah, this is considered strong fists against Buddha's enemies. Well, thanks, uh, I guess. Where you Appreciate it. I hate when devs do that, like, either learn to count or assign proper numerical values to games. I don't mind... Thanks. I don't mind that so much, um... I don't like that they keep rebooting. Like, you'll have... There was Thief the Dark Project, Thief 2 the Metal Age, uh, Thief 3 the something or other, and then they had, like, the the reboot in 2014 or 2015 that was just called Thief, and it's... I hate that shit. He had, like, Tomb Raider, Legend of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, uh, Guardian of Light or some shit. And then just Tomb Raider came out again. And it's like, come on now. Hit us with that cool, catchy subtitle. Oh, it's Revelations again? Cool. Thanks. Ow. Hi, all Yaw! A lot of yaws going around here. Ventured, ow! Forgot about the gunman. Forgot about the gunman again. Alright. I also didn't like it when, um... This is like... This is like sacrilege among nerd communities, apparently. But I really didn't like how they went Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 1. I thought that was fucking stupid. No, no, no. Episodes is like what we're calling the expansions of Half-Life. Uh, why? That literally... The first time I saw it, I'm like, wait, so is Episode 1 just the first half of Half-Life 2? I'm like, no, 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 no. Half-Life 2, Episodes. And this is Episode 1. Why, why not just call it Half-Life Episodes, then? Cool, that's just hanging out there. A dried uh, persimmon-like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is a god of the land, and the heart is believed to be the one whose spirit resides. While it looks much like a persimmon, in fact, it is red viscera of a god. Apparently, denizens of the Sunken Valley worship its organs, believing they represent the deity itself. None of those were Makiri counters. You need a thrusting attack. If I just do an execution, that's not a Makiri counter. 
I d if you see me take my foot and stomp it into the ground with a weapon underneath it, that's a Makiri counter. So yeah, like a guy with a... That's not a Makiri counter. That's just an execution. Rather splurty, gooey execution at that. But an execution, definitely. Those, um... Those serpent organs, shockingly, meant to be gotten by killing the big old snake that we saw earlier. More, uh... Hopefully I'll find the other one, because you get a good item if you, uh... Get the pure one, and kind of an okay item if you get the bad one. And I grabbed the bad one right there. I can't get up there. Maybe I can. If I stand here... Ha-ha! Alright, so glad I came up here with nothing about. Alright. Back past this guy. Let's keep going. What up, champ? Down we go. Ooh. It's dark and spooky in here. Hey, buddy, listen. I know it's dark and spooky, and your eyesight's probably not the best. So, you know. Now he doesn't need to buy glasses. I saved that man so much money. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't see the big dude with the bell. What up, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Power Girl needs this shared game back. You have five minutes of playtime remaining. Hey, uh, Kaida. What did we say about you using Steam when I'm borrowing your games? Please. Don't make me come into the other room. Please. Hooray! Power Girl shared games are now available for you to play. Thank you. I know. There's no reason I should be sharing this game in your library. It's installed on my computer. Oh, hey, it's another snake. Yay. Boy, fucking, whether it's PlayStation or Steam, she's always trying to steal my goddamn, uh, streams, isn't she? Not happening on her watch, I guess. Forgot Stardew was on Steam. How do you forget Stardew's on Steam? Also, you okay, guy? Put that guy out of his misery. What else is there? Oh, Christ, it's one of you guys. I run it through a mod loader. Oh, God. Oh, the snake. Jesus. Don't mind me, giant snake I can't kill yet. I was just, you know, having a fight down below your body. Or she's messing with you, you know, for fun. Uh, I mean, it's possible. She does run Stardew through a mod loader, though. I can confirm that. Pellet. Sugar. Oh, hey, there it is. White lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the sunken valley where fountainhead waters pool deeply. That's what the guardian ape was supposed to have. This flower's aroma attracts female apes. The guardian ape carefully tended it so as to offer it to his bride. Yep, I killed a lonely simp. One of the incense ingredients sought by the Divine Air for immortal severance. Well, cool. That's just hanging out in a cave with a giant snake. Thanks, cave with giant snake. I appreciate that so much I won't even kill these guys down here. I'll just keep on trucking. Can I uh, make it there? Or are you gonna, you gonna be mad at me, Mr. Snake? There's like, I can't get down there. That's not a place I can go. Oh, hey, I can just, all right. Didn't realize there was a, there was a pit there I could stand in. Oh, oh, hi. So he's totally just looking at me. This is how Kaido looks at my streams before she tries to sabotage them. Just waiting. Lurking.
Now you have all the items for ritual immortality, removal, or something. Definitely or something, yes. I forget how I do this. I think I can drop down here. Yeah, okay. I need to I need to be sneaky and careful. And then what I need to do is make the monkey dance to distract the mean old serpent. Oh god, that wasn't that didn't work. Yep, that didn't work. I'm trying to kill the snake. I forget how it works. I thought the monkey dancing distracted him and then I could make my move. Turns out not so. Oh god, I'm all the way back here. That's actually not that bad. I kind of took some detours. Alright, well, I, I, on principle, I want to see what's near that snake. So, I mean, we're going to figure that out, I guess. If I don't... Well, alright. Yeah, that's... That was on me. <sighs> I don't remember how the damn snake works is the problem. I, I did it years ago when I first played this game. I, uh, I made the monkey dance and it distracted the snake successfully. But, like, I don't remember where I went for it. Hey, guy. Glad we had that talk. You're a trooper. Alright, we're already back in the cave. I thought I had it. I thought once the monkey started to... Wow, that guy. No excuse that time, guy. Whee! All right, we're back. Uh. So, yeah, there's a monkey down there whom I distracted, or, like, do I need to come back, like, once I've got the monkey dancing? All right, well, I fell. That's embarrassing. Oh, yep, I gotta, that's what I gotta do. So now the snake's like, hey, what's this going on over here? Run! Woo! Made it! Get fucked! <laughs> so as you can see, the snake totally saw that and decided he would respond by, you know, kind of locking me in here. Smashing at the gate. Let's get this item. More balloons, cool. Adamantine scraps. I think there's a way out, like, up here. Certainly is. Ah. Uh, God damn it. By way out, I think I mean it loops back around. Don't worry, I'll bother the snake in a second here. I want to see what this item is, though. Yeah, it's just a big loop. All of it. All of it pointless. Alright, you. Yeah, he's kind of like, fuck you, stop doing that. Bang! That's what he does. He's like, fuck off. <laughs> Which I, I respect. To a degree, I respect that. That said, how do you get out of here? Heal up. Step on him. Right, yep, that's... 
I mean, he is thrusting at me, I suppose. Alright, this is how we leave. Aha! Well, before I continue in the Ashina Depths, let's head back to, uh, the kid and see what's up with that. Uh, Ashina Cat. Well, it's important places. Hey, I got the blade and I got the flower. Uh, what else do I need? I think I have everything, right? So game over, I win, or? Shall, oh fuck, I need the stone. Right, I don't have that yet. He's gonna be like, but wait, there's more, as soon as I'm like, hey, I found your damn flower. I am Lady Emma. Oh yeah, the tree. Nor do I care. As you wish. Yeah, it's gonna gather for the aroma. Hey, by the way, about that. My lord, I've procured the flower for the fountain. Oh yeah, thank you, Arg. Oh, was it truly blooming in the sunken valley? <laughs> deep within the valley. Near there? That is where the fountainhead waters pull deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Oh, and actually, I found something. I discovered there's another scent we must have They I literally I forgot about this. Uh, In other words, my blood. Oh well that's easy. Blood. Just get a knife. Lord, you cannot bleed. Oh yes. It is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. Alright, uh I'll punch him in the stomach, he can cough up some blood. I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Sakari's page, and it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. <laughs> yeah, right, I'll I'll hang on to that. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me blue. I got a mortal blade. I should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes. She may be able to help us. Yeah, literally I, I'd forgotten it was even quite so blatant. He was like, Oh yeah, by the way, there's yet another thing we need. <laughs> forgotten about that. Yes, what is it? Can the divine air be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine air is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine air's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. Yes. The mortal blade. Yes. I would have tried that immediately. <laughs> These guys give the best gifts. Hey, Wolf, hold this for me. Uh, thanks for the plant. Hey, here, take this. It's a fistful of ash. Cool. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. Was it? Was it really? You may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to a mortal severance. Of <sighs> course. So yeah, the, the quick plot summary is this kid's immortal and his blood can make other people immortal. Uh, and as a result, everyone's after him, so he's trying to stop being immortal. Not die! He doesn't want to kill himself. He just wants to no longer be immortal so that no one's after him. And I'm helping him out. Look here. I found something that may help us. It's a stone. A stone? Yes. Look at this. Yeah, that's one of my favorite stones. What is? It's a writing by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. It says there's a sacred village with a stone that gives off a unique scent. But I haven't heard of such a village. Hmm. It says here that it is beneath Ashina, beyond the bottom of the well you awoken, near the Moonbeam Tower. I'm going there. Bottomless hole yeah, yeah, yeah. Really relevant to our search. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. I don't need to. I'm already in that area. I do not. Oh, oh wait. I could. I could be like, hey, there's a bottomless hole. Apparently. Wolf, did you speak with More importantly. You did. And what did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal. Why is Sikro walking around in a room with no enemies in it, with an unsheathed sword? 
that's um, absolutely 100% the mod for making him Cloud Strife. He very deliberately, when there's no enemies, uh, will sheath his sword. He does that for the sculptor that puts prosthetics on you. He does that for Ishin. He does that for these guys. Anytime there's no enemies around, he absolutely uh, sheaths his sword. The cloud model does not. I see you've gathered some of the ingredients needed to create How many times are we going to do this? I can't even try with the mortal blade? What the fuck? Uh, so I need a goddamn... I think I have the tree branch, don't I? Maybe I don't. Cloud's not the real protagonist, I know. I've seen that elf in Emmaus. I've heard there's a rundown temple. Lady Emma Wolf. Yes, I will make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll... Maybe. The bell is optional and that boss is a pain in my ass, but it might be nice to see who it is. A fragrant stone. Perhaps... Alright, so I need a goddamn tree branch and a stone. I've seen a place. You have? There is a great, seemingly an old witch you told me. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I wrote about a bottomless hole and says throw oneself in. Oh, I found a bottomless hole and an old woman that said throw oneself in. Could they be connected? Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I need a stick and a rock. It's amazing. The ideas for this uh, collection mission came when the developers looked out the window. All right. Uh, where do I want to go? I guess I could go to the Harata estate and... Uh, deliberately not activate the uh, second half with the father owl bell by maybe i maybe i got this i'm gonna check real quick i know i know i forgot to use the beads um i'm gonna check real quick and see if i picked up the key for this boss fight just because i kind of want to see who's in there uh physical yes Alright. I don't have any memories. Yeah, no. Okay. Hey, buddy! Hiya! What a guy. I don't suppose the, uh, the key is in here anywhere. I, I picked up the key at some point. Sure didn't. Cool. <laughs> uh, there's a chance... It is... Eh. I won't bother. There's a chance it's somewhere earlier in this memory and I just missed the item, but at the same time I don't feel like going all the way through the memory backtracking to find the stupid thing. So let's go to the poison pool in the Ashina Depths, because this is where that bottomless hole would take me anyway, so I'm kind of just, you know, going this way. You could jump in that hole at any time and uh, sequence break a little bit. But, uh, you don't get very far doing that, so I've never understood why people want to do that. I lied. I'm actually gonna hit the abandoned dungeon because there is, um... There's water with items in it I want to check out real quick. And then we'll hit the poison valley. Hey, boys! Don't mind me, just looking for items. Nice. Bulging coin purse, pacifying agent. Light coin purse. That's been lucrative so far. Black gunpowder. Probably, you know, ruined being underwater. I'm not the most familiar with the properties of gunpowder, but I don't think you want to get it soaking wet. Since I think it needs to ignite. That's kind of its whole thing. That said, they do, um... They're watertight barrels. That they store gunpowder in, or used to, anyway. Get back in ye oldy days. Alright, what do we have through here? No items, but could be something. I'll take it. Like coin purse. Okay. Uh, 
Plenty of items. Like the dragon tally board. Cool. I think they told me it was there. It's like they left me for a tally board. Tally board car from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increased stocks that can be purchased in merchant shops. Now I need to go to every fucking merchant again. Such tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the imperial palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Is the boss battle in the dungeon sequence place important? One that you need a key for. Uh, there's not really a boss battle here. There's a, There was a mini boss that I beat. Uh, uh, yeah, about that. Um, let me just... Let me just uh, get out of here real quick. Don't mind me. Hi, everybody. Dungeon-esque place. Uh, if you're referring to... Uh, oh, the one I need the key for. That one. Uh, normally, for beating the boss in that room, I gain... You know how I have, like, down in the bottom left down there? Um, I've got the, the two revives. Normally, if I beat that boss, I get a third revive. I have no idea if that is still tied to that particular boss room or if it's somewhere else, but I'd like to do it. Uh, well, you don't have anything new that I particularly give a rat's ass about. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, uh, where are the other merchants? There's one back at um, the dilapidated temple. If you want an item location, let me know. Uh, well, I don't need it yet. I still have the poison pit. Right now, I just need to check on the other merchants. There's this guy who I'm hopeful about because he had crap the first time I spoke to him. Uh, nope, sure doesn't. He's got this thing, which might be useful, but, you know. Until next time, friend. Third revive could be useful. Yeah, it might be in there. I guess, um, Kaida, if you, if you can confirm for me if the third revive is in that boss room, because... I don't know if that's an item or if that's just you get that for beating the boss that's in that room. So if it's not there, don't tell me where it is. Just be like, it's not there, it's somewhere else. If it is there, be like, yeah, it's there. And then I need to, I'll keep an eye out for the key. Uh, not castle, I need outskirts. Uh, not the valley, yeah, the stairwell has like two merchants near it. Gotta go looking for merchants. You may notice it's not quite as dreary out, or maybe more dreary. The skies, the sun's like there when it used to be sort of bluish and snow covered. As you gain items for this uh, ritual to no longer be immortal, time progresses in the game. It isn't there. Okay. So it's somewhere else. Ah, this guy. I love this guy. This guy's fun. Loaded! Cool, what you got for me? A lot of sugars. Alright, so nothing. Eh, divine confetti might be useful, honestly. Love him. Fun fact about me, I love merchants in video games. Just in general. Obviously, in tears, number one's the guy from Resident Evil 4. Followed by Stan of the Monkey Island franchise. Gavlan in Dark Souls 2. I even have a soft spot for Tom Nook. I'm going to turn my fan on real quick while he keeps talking. Because it's fucking hot in here. Big and strong. Big and strong. Thick. Thick! Give me thick men! I'd forgotten he says that. Looking for some thick boys. Anyway, I know just the guy. I'll go do that side quest. Yes, I'm doing that side quest and not the other side quest. Uh, 
Uh. So real quick, let's go to uh, Mount Congo. Hey, crying large man. I know somebody who uh, would appreciate your, uh, well, your largeness. Maybe not the crying part. He's over here. Uh, oh shit, how do I do this? Do I have to give him that and then be like, hey, I know a guy. Let, let me double check the wiki real quick on uh, this dude. Bah. Because uh, I want him to go to hang out with the merchant, but I don't remember. Other side quest being you just wander around aimlessly. Uh, what? No, no, no. Uh, it regards this guy. The other side quest for what I can do with this guy. There's a couple options on how this guy's story can end. I'm going to send him to hang out with the merchant. Uh, Sekiro. Crying Monk. Kotaro, that's his name. Thank you. Uh, right, right, right. Progression. Depending on how you progress and complete his quest, Kotaro may, uh, move to where the peddler set up shop in the outskirts, which requires the player to progress the quest line up to the point where he's asking for help to find somebody. Then Vincent go to work, which requires you to give him the red and white pinwheel. Then check the dialogue. Tell him about, uh, the peddler. Okay. So yeah, I'm there. Is this what you're looking for? Uh, that's a red and white flower. I'm looking for a pure white. I have no idea where it could be. But you, you're trying to help. Thank you. You're a good man. A pure white flower. You need a white pinwheel? I don't know where it is. I know where it is in the main game. I don't know where it is in the randomizer. Pure white flower. Fuck, it could be being, you know... Ah, oh, suggest a travel destination. I could send him to the abandoned dungeon, which would kill him. Or I can tell him about the peddler, who gives him a job. There's a peddler named Anayama near Ashina Castle looking for help. You should give him a hand. Uh, uh, I mean, if everyone comes back, I won't be here. But I am pretty lonely. All right, I'll do it. I'll go and see. You should. <laughs> you really are a good man. Thank you. Good ending. Eh, sort of. His best ending involves, um, finding the, uh, white flower. I think it's probably the best ending I can get, given the current situation. Anyway, let's, uh... Yes, I'm stalling. I don't want to go to the poison pool. Uh, let's head back to the castle. Uh, no, the outskirts. Uh, the wall stairway. This is probably, what I just did is probably like the second best ending for him. The best ending involves giving him the pure white one. The worst ending involves giving, or er, telling him about the, uh, the dungeon so that he gets fucking murdered. Better than sending him to his death. True. That's true. That it, it's, it, if I were to rank them like out of 10, it's like the pure white flower is like a 9 out of 10. This right here where he's hanging out with the merchant, that's probably like a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, the mer uh, Sending him to the dungeon is like a negative fifty out of ten. There's a huge leap between worst and middle. Anyway, what up, dude? Oh, Mr. Shinobu. Hanayama is a good man. He called me here to mourn those who died in battle. Take off the armor, cleanse the body, and make proper grave. Times as they are, peace and burials don't happen. I mean, he's doing it to get the armor, but it's nice that he's giving them a proper burial, too. You have one hell of an eye on you. You found me a fine specimen. Not only is he strong, but he doesn't mind looting corpses, neither. Thanks to you, I've got piles of weapons and I'm loaded with cash. Not to mention some new items in stock. That's what I was after. Look. Mainly the new items. What you got for me? Something good? The Nightjar Memo Beacon. Well, I don't need to buy it to read it, so... Pale pink smoke signals are deeper in memory. Those signals guide Nightjar to an important key. Ashen-faced flock are surely there, the ones who search for treasure there. Oh, crap. So there's an important key in the owl's memory, huh? 
All right, that that's what I'm reading from that. What does giving in the pure white thing do, ending wise? Remember the arena where the um the folding screen monkeys were meant to be, but it was like uh the dudes that was really easy. That's like sort of a holy uh purgatory, for lack of a better word. It's like a place where you can souls who have passed on. It's like sort of a divine holy place. If you give that to him, he goes there. I guess he kind of dies. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, all the children that the Sempo monks have been murdering are there waiting for him. And he, like, gets to look after them in uh, the afterlife. That's the good ending! <laughs> anyway, yeah, so what I'm reading from this is in the owl memory, there's pink smoke signals. And they lead to an important key, which is fucking annoying. But I'll do it at some point. One day soon, I'll be the top merchant in all of Ashiden. I I skipped the dialogue at a real real rude moment. Maybe one day I'll be the top merchant in all of Ashina. No. I don't know what he actually said that I responded no to, but wow, really just fucking kicked him in the dick with that particular response. Nah, don't think so. Whew. I can't sell him anything. Ah. Oh, that, that, was, that was a good hearty belly laugh. My bad, dude. I believe in you. I don't, I don't think you're going to be a failure or anything. <laughs> you don't remember that. Ah, well. It, he goes to a holy place, like I said, and looks after children that have been murdered by the uh, monks of the Senpo Temple. They keep murdering children because they are convinced that's how you find immortality, experimenting on them until they don't die. Which, I mean, there is a sick sort of logic to that. I don't approve of it, but... There is definitely, hey, let's keep killing kids until we find one we can't, and then bam, we've got immortality. Obviously, it's a little more complicated than that, but, you know, that's sort of the nub of the gist. Uh, I think, hold on. I think how, it's kind of coming back to me regarding that gold dragon thing and why I have to go and check all the merchants. I think the d whoa, hey, calm down there, champ. I said, calm down there, champ. Alright, well, that was... Not nearly as devastating as it used to be, bitch. Still pretty devastating, though. Well, damn. Seemed unnecessary brutal. None of that was a Makiri counter. Also, that wasn't quite a thrust. The hook on her gun, uh, or, like, the blade on the bottom of her gun, kind of, like, landed in me and dragged me forward. It's more of a pull than a thrust. They're very specific about it. If you see someone with a spear, I will Makiri counter him. But he needs to be a spear. Not a gun. A spear. The, um... To continue my stalling, I think what I need to do with that uh, golden dragoon, dragoon, that golden dragon uh, tally board or whatever it is, I think I need to sell it to this guy, and he'll like increase his stock. Uh, let's see. No, huh? I thought I had to sell it to that guy. Yeah, about that. I don't understand what goes on in the mind of an honest samurai. If you're not gonna die, you should go off and enjoy yourself. Well, anyway, everyone he loved also died. Boy, you're a chuckle bag, aren't you? I've always had sticky fingers, I guess. I got fed up with all the offerings and memorials, so I left the mob. But besides, property can belong to anyone, right? Hey. Got all kinds of strange ones in it. I know the interior ministers are afraid of Ishinashina, but it looks like they've found their tide. Hey, friend. Okay. Hey, friend. 
I guess I can't sell him the board. Maybe it's a New Game Plus thing. I don't really... No, that's what it is. I... Okay, I remember. I remember how the tally board works. Um... At the end of the game, one of the merchants is, like, dying, and in order to thank you for his patronage, he gives you that, so in New Game Plus, you'll have full access to his stock, like, right at the beginning. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess there's nothing left to do except the poison pool. I could go into the owl memory and look for the night jars that have the important key, but I don't feel like doing that. I've blown off the poison valley long enough, let's hit the poison valley. <sighs> Thanks. I can't get... I... Prayer beads are fucking everywhere in this game. Normally they're a bit more difficult to find. So there is... There he is. I was gonna say there's a mini boss somewhere in this area. It's another big old fucking drunk dude. I'm gonna take out his support group though. Ow, excuse you. Like, I don't want to be fighting that guy while there's a gunman trying to shoot me. That seems like it's ill-advised. Ow. Excuse you. Alright, I kind of want to lose chase here. So, forget about me real quick. Thanks for the lapis. By the way, this exists purely so you can, like, spawn in behind everyone. That's the only reason that idol exists. If you want to, like, backspawn this area so that you don't aggro everyone when you enter, you can totally just spawn there. Also, plenty more items to go around. I really gotta take out... Yeah, it looks like... That guy, I mean, the drunk, obviously, but, you know. The dude just kind of walking around down there. I gotta take him out. Because I don't want to be fighting the drunk with a bunch of other people. Maybe I should just rest up. It's not like everyone has a gun. It's mostly that guy. So if I rest up, uh... Hopefully the boss is like, oh yeah, he's gone. He is. Alright, what the hell is with my side? I guess it's like, just a weird reflection. I thought I was like, covered in gunk or something. Anyway. Alrighty, uh, there's a dude somewhere around here. There he is. Rough way to go. That's what I wanted. All right, let's grab the items. Ministry dousing powder, okay? More pellets, you'll... I mean, I'm not even gonna complain, it's healing. Treasure carp scale, I gotta go turn those in. Whee! Oh good, I was poisoned. Where's my uh, antidote? Hi. Bye. Will you get poisoned if you hang out there long enough? Or is that, like, not possible for you? I'm just gonna watch his health bar and see if he gets poisoned. Hey, he got poisoned. I found the strats for this boss. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, while he's getting poisoned, let's, uh, let's wander around collecting items. Because I'm an honorable samurai. Oh, hey, a prayer bead. In 
In case you're wondering who's normally meant to be here. Ooh, flame barrel memo. We'll get of info number 36. We broke into leaderless Ashina. We found an important item. The boys lit a roaring fire with it and made merry with drink. Must have been on the ground. I mean, I got the item that they're referring to, but I don't remember what it was. Honestly, I have not found a lot of the prosthetics. I don't have the, uh... I don't have the fire. I don't have the axe. I think that's actually it. I really want the fire and the axe. How do I get those items up there while that guy's slowly dying of poison? Is that an item? No, it was just money. Up there somehow. Hmm. Alright. Dude, come on. Cloud. Time to go! Ah, I think... No, it was there, I think, for a second. Hmm. The secret path on the way to the monkey den. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, property can belong to anyone. Mentality of every thief ever. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Property by itself can belong to anyone. It's just that they have a very sort of liberal interpretation of that particular thought. That meaning I'm therefore allowed to steal anything whenever I want because it's only property. But anyone can own property. I think he was more speaking of, like, the dead. And like, hey, it doesn't belong to the dead. Okay. Okay. Thought I was guarding, apparently I wasn't. He's quick. Ow. Could you not? I would appreciate it if you did not. There it is. Round two, baby! I mean, I do believe that man could take out a tree with that, so that checks out. Memory, Saint Ishin. Awesome. Battle of an extraordinary foe. Seemed a legit sumo move, not poison thing, but the hand technique, I mean. Yeah, the, the lore in the game is regarding those guys. Um, so, hold on. I think I can actually show it off here in a second. Um, you know what? Uh, let me, let me go in, uh, I can show it off here, I'm pretty sure. So... The prayer necklaces I keep making from the beads, which are somewhere, they contain lore regarding, um, bosses. It might be an equipment? No. Where is it? The, the necklaces contain lore regarding the mini-bosses, so... Uh, the Ferocity of Ashina's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented. Every one of them accomplished in an Ashina sword style. That refers to the, uh, the big dudes with the swords and the spears. Ashina, there's a terrible pink ogre of a man said to have gone red-eyed and run amok before he was long shut away in the Forsaken Dungeon. Uh, Bull was fiery, rampaging beast and nothing more. In the last great war, the corpse of Ashina Samurai piled high. Something had to be done. Only those who have mastered the Ashina Blade may set foot inside the castle dojo. Ishin will often stop uh, by unannounced just to keep students on their toes. 
Gunfort is commanded by Snake Eyes, an elite force of women able to pierce distant targets with mighty flint cannons and phenomenal vision. Centipedes will seek a larger, often challenging name out of loyalty. Centipede chiefs known as Long Arms for their long, talon-like weapons. And unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudalist lord, dismissed after giving to drink and fell to a life of brigandry. So he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. So yeah, the, the big fat drunkard dudes, uh, their whole thing is that they were sumo wrestlers that became alcoholics. And then were kicked out of the sumo and uh, took to uh, banditry. So yeah, the, the necklaces give nice little uh, blurbs about the mini-bosses, which I always thought was neat. Anyway, moving on. There is a hidden path here where I'd like to get some items. So yeah, lore. You need to go looking for it, but it's there. Hey dude, what's up? You love to see it. So who's down there? Who is that? I don't know who that is. So this is a boss fight, but I don't recognize who the hell that guy is. Oh, it's Lady Butterfly again. It's her second stage. Okay, all right. That's an easy boss fight, especially for me at this point in the game. So, hold on. There's, like, yet another uh, hidden pathway around here, specifically right here. And, uh, yeah, then we'll fight Lady Butterfly in her second phase. I really would have thought, you know, I fought both phases at once, but, you know, I guess not. They stashed her uh, second phase all the way up here. Gotchin sugar. Alright, was that it for items up here? Appears to be. Alright. Drunk fatsos were legit sumo wrestlers, explains the sumo moves they keep dishing out. Yep. Like I said, from software, the guys who developed this, they love their like little attentions to detail like that. I wonder if I can get a sneak attack on her by going this way. That would make the fight really quick. I think she only has the one health bar. It's possible. No, I can't make that jump. There's no way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter that room the legit way. What up, dude? Nah, I dealt with that already. Okay. I mean, I already killed the ape, so, you know. That's why it's not the ape. Big room for the ape, though. What up, butterfly? Hey, uh... Can you just... Yeah. <laughs> I just need to do this. I'm so strong, I don't even need to hit her. I just need to wait. Whoa, shit. That one, uh, I did need to do something. Oh, shit. Damn. All right, so she got some moves. That said, she's dead, so. She's, like, the second boss you fight. Maybe third. So, yeah, I don't know... Bad luck on her for spawning right there. Ooh, some sake. Bad luck on her for... Are you done? Jesus. A lot right there. Thanks for the mist raven feathers. Kind of useful, but not really. Yeah, I don't have the fan yet. There's a ton of prosthetics I don't have. Uh, so, you know, sorry about that, butterfly. You, uh, you're normally a lot tougher than that. Bye. Imagine if that were the final boss. What, a, what an anticlimactic finish. Oh, hey. It's this dude again. Hold on. Sorry about that. Wait, hold on. 
Oh, right. Sorry. There we go. He was super threatening. Sorry, you were saying. Ooh. She's gone. You're right. You're absolutely right. Here just moments ago. Uh, can you hurry this conversation up? Thank you. Sorry, you were saying. She would... Fuck! I want to greet the man. Oh, she would... Hey, what's up? Leave? Oh, Shinobi. Listen. I finally saw her. The Shamisen player. It was a woman. I only saw her from afar. But I could tell. A beautiful, yet fleeting presence. I should have asked if she was calling to me. Ha, <sighs> this guy, it doesn't end well for this guy, no matter what happens. I could send him to the dungeon and get him killed, like, um, the big thick dude I sent to the merchant. Uh, but unlike the big thick dude, there's no happy ending for him. I send him to the dungeon and he's murdered, or, you know... We follow this shamisen player story to the end, and I believe he ultimately commits suicide. So yeah, not a, not a good time for that guy. We do meet the shamisen player at some point, but, uh, you know, not yet. Okay. Right, uh, enhance attack power. Awesome. And I only have three prayer beads, so I can't increase my health. Whee! Alrighty. Yeah. Welcome to the Mist Valley. Valley of Mist? Something like that. I could have just kept going forward. Don't really need a rest. Fine, really. Uh, there's a lot of items here, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it means I'm likely to miss something I might need. Or, you know, just keep picking up that goddamn waste of time sugar. Yeah, like down here. Whoa, hey, what's up? Well, gee, it's busy here. You want I should come back later, guys? Are we done? Goodness me, I am popular. Worthless, worthless. Ancient Kodachi Short Sword. Blade is molted with blunt rust, can be used in the prosthetic. What is it? Oh, it's the Poison Blade. Forged by Ashina Clan to visit the inhuman evil that invaded Ashina. It was poisonous gift of the blade and rust that finally drove the spirits out. That's somewhat useful. All right. Oh, hi. Um, I'm gonna go. I didn't know you were here. I kind of forgot. It's all the same to you. Ow. Oh, good. You're all back. What the hell's that about? Excuse the hell out of me? God, the fucking whole gang's here, isn't it? Can you not... I don't have time for this. I'm fighting a goddamn headless. Something I didn't really want to be doing at this exact moment. I'll use you. Get the divine confetti. Ow. 
All right, Headless, where are you? That's not you. That's you. Ow. You know what? I was going great until a fucking monkey leapt in. Oh my god, he teleports. Wow. I don't know what he did there, but thank goodness it was censored. No one wants to see that on Twitch or YouTube. Can you fuck off? I'm trying, okay? Why? There's like a thousand people here. None of this is Makiri counterable. Oh, of course it's the confetti. I want healing, damn it. He ripped my butthole out. That's what he did. Great. You know what I'm out of? Divine confetti. Would killing the Miss Noble help? He's already dead. He was in the fucking original memory. Christ alive. I don't know if the Miss Noble would help. The guy who's supposed to be here is the Miss Noble. Or whatever took his place. Yes, I'm aware, dear. Uh, it's worth a shot. I might try and fight the Headless after that. How about Sands? What is it with you and the Sand? I think it's a Sand uh, Prince of Persia thing, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it's kind of specific to that game, and it wasn't even that much of a meme. You know, you, it's the floor water you want to bring up. Fuck off. Piece of shit. Oh, hey, Divine Confetti. Cool. <laughs> I was just saying I'm out of that because I accidentally had it on use the entire time. And then it's like, oh, here's some Divine Confetti. Cool, thanks. I told Floor Water doesn't exist in this game. It doesn't exist outside. It's just called a lake. Hey, buddy. Whoa! Oh, fuck! I, it tricked me again. I saw items. I thought I was going the right way. I'm just gonna die. Thought I was going the right way. Saw items. Was like, hey, items. Headless was there. It's, it was a whole thing. Let's just fo- I'm getting a lot of unseen aid. Let's just focus on, uh, killing the Miss Noble miniboss. Actually, before we do that, let me, uh, see if I can backtrack real quick. What does Unseen Aid do? Um, when you die, you have, like, a... Hold on. I can... I can get the exact number. So, if you see Unseen Aid... Oh, actually, it's... My webcam's blocking it. Hold on. You see Unseen Aid right above my head there? 30%. When you die, you have that percentage chance to not lose money. And if you get Unseen Aid, that means it popped successfully and you, um, uh, aren't gonna lose money on death. Crop myself a little better there. Anyway. Uh, acquire- whoop, I'm tabbed out of the window now. Acquire skills. I want you. Suppress presence. Oh, wait, shit, I have another one. Uh, apparently there's a fourth one. What do we got? Uh, parrying strikes. I mean, I don't use those, but sure, the others might be useful. Cross and run and slide. Art and latent effects. The latent effects are usually good. Might be worth seeing. Alright, well, it's nice to have something to shoot for in the upgrade tree. Whee! Yahoo! It's fun! Now then, what up, dude? Hey, hey you. Yeah, me. That seems a bit harsh. Sorry, there's an ant on me. The door may be closed, but there should be a hole in the second floor. 
No idea how that... Uh, is that appearing on stream? It's not. Okay, I must have hit the home button on my Xbox. My bad. I am using a 360 controller and the home button brings up a uh, Windows tab. Cool that it didn't show up on stream. Anyway. Hey, buddy. Ow. Well, that was just rude. Hell of a death gurgle. My bad. There you go. I forget how one gets around in this area. Precisely. Take the item, though. I know this area becomes much easier to navigate. I gotta get up to that temple. Once, um... Once you kill the thing in that temple... That's creating all this fucking mist. Oh, an old woman with a candle that can't do any damage to me. Hiya! Use defog. Oh, of course. Defog. How silly. You know what? I went to the move deleter and unlearned it. Looking back, it was a foolish decision, but, you know, didn't seem important. Harsh, especially considering Buddhism is one of the more peaceful-oriented religions. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he's brainwashing villagers with, you know, his brain mind-controlling mist and enslaving them. Oh, hey, wow. Sacred passage on Path of Enlightenment. Undying, I pray for the dragon's return. Undying, lo, let us wait an age for the divine heir to assimilate the cold dragon tears and the cradle to consume a pair of serpentine fruits. Let the cradle endure, giving him shelter, but do not in the divine realm where no required items can be found. There's nothing in the divine realm? Oh my god. Well, it's a load off my mind for searching there. Still, though, that, that area is fucking huge. How do no required items wind up there? I guess I have most of them at this point. But still... That realm is fucking, you know, prime real estate. Yeah, no, if he if he had opened with, like, there's a guy opposing, you know, precious bait. Nice. There's a guy brainwashing villagers up ahead. Can, can you go do something about that? I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll go kill that guy. Just for opposing Buddha, though. Whee! Seems a bit harsh. Maybe, maybe open the pitch with he's brainwashing people. Very limited idea of what items are required. Ah, well, fair enough then. Oh, fucking goddammit. So many monkeys! Take a nice swig of my whatever it is. And get the fuck out of here. I swear I jumped. Now I can grab up there. Cool. Awesome. Alright, this is where I need to go. And fun fact, there is a mini-boss here. Whee! Who is it? I don't know. Oh, it's a centipede. Alright, that'll be easy. Who's the other guy? Oh, it's a monkey. Alright, well, this'll be easy. How easy? Well... He's already dead, so, you know. Mini-boss! Real toughy, that guy. Ah, oh, there's the axe. About fucking time. Heavy black axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the prosthetic. Borsh axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things. So this is how you deal with shield guys. You drop an axe on them. About time I had that. Jesus. Okay, well that was that was a bit of a comedy of errors on my part, but we got through. Bite down. Well, not needed, but worth getting anyway. Uh 
was easy enough to get. How? Where do I go from here? Is the question. Hmm. I don't actually know. That looks like death. Oh, up there. Okay. I was gonna say. I seem to remember it's this way. Ceremonial Tonto! Dagger with a stark white blade hilt converts vitality into spirit emblems. So if I'm ever out of ammo for my shurikens, I can sacrifice life to get it. Originally, this Tonto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon, in which an emblem uh, would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift in the fountainhead waters. A blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. Useful, I guess, uh, in theory. I never really do that, because, like, I have plenty of ammo, so why would I ever need to? Emergency situation, perhaps? Oh, craftsman to get the prosthetic upgrade. So let me do this area first, how about? I'm nearly done with it. I'm at the temple, for God's sakes. And the entrance is right in here. <laughs> ah, one of the spearmen. Okay. Just you and me, buddy. Hey, 7-9, uh, guess what's going to happen with this spear guy at some point? I can almost promise you. Oh god, the delay on that! I didn't realize the delay would be quite so big. Okay, well he's beaten my ass. I'd prefer it if you didn't. Kind of a long walk back here, champ. It is time for a Makiri counter. There it is! The Makiri counter! Oh shit, he has a follow-up. What is it with these spearmen? Like, the boss spearmen have follow-ups to Makiri counters. It's insane. Memory again! Awesome. Anyway, so within lore of the game, he... Not that guy specifically, but... That guy is responsible for, um... That mini-boss is responsible for all the mist in the area. So now that it's gone, all of the enemies, except probably the Headless, are uh, gone as well. And uh, I'm free to just loot the area. Without fear of being goddamn ganked and attacked for all of eternity. Me boo pilgrimage balloon. Hmm, I don't know that one. Now where, oh where, is that Headless? I have a score to settle with him. He did counter my Makiri counter. Or at the very least, it didn't uh, leave him as vulnerable as it does non-boss enemies. Shame I can't grab that. Is it this way, or is this back uh, where the monkey was? Oh no, it is this way. Okay. There's definitely an item down there. Is a headless down here? Yep, sure is. Okay, so... Let's throw on some pacifying agent. Pilgrimage Balloon is the one you usually get at the end of Badger's Quest. Oh. Interesting. You know... A fucking insta-kill prompt would have been nice game. Ow. No, fucking Christ, I didn't switch to healing. Stop hitting me! I am trying to heal, you ugly, disgusting fuck. There. Where'd he go? Teleporting son of a bitch. He just loves to teleport behind me. There it is. Dark Flame, what's up? 
Oh good, he dropped Divine Confetti. That thing I need to fight him. Pine Resin Ember, huh? A piece of resin that contains a continuously smoldering flame can be used to upgrade the flame vent. I don't have that! The resin was found in Black Pine within the Mibu village. Uh, the ever-smoldering flames act as a landmark to find one's way to the village. In time, villagers came to loathe the flames and had Black Pines were lost. Those who defended the flame were equally loathed. How uh, about this other item? More precious bait. Cool. You know, I'm looking for a flame vent, as it turns out. It's not 100% necessary, but I'd like it. Boy, that was way easier once there weren't 300,000 people trying to gank me at the same time. If only I could platform as well as I could fight people when there aren't 300,000 people trying to gank me. Oh, another item. Flame vent? Nope, Sokka. <laughs> that. Yes, yeah, Sokka. Character from Avatar The Last Airbender just hanging out there. Weird cameo. I killed him. Alright, well. This old man would like to see Lord Buddha return to his temple once more. Well, it's kind of a piece of shit, that temple. So, um... Well, fucking goddamn platforming. Good fucking luck, I guess, you know. More power to you. By the way, did you watch a Shaq wrestling match last night? I did not. I was at work. I can't really watch uh, wrestling. I'm at work usually. That's what the night shift will do. Rob me of perfectly good wrestling matches. It's on YouTube. Oh, is it? Cool. I'll absolutely watch it after this then. Don't, uh, don't go ahead and spoil anything. I want to see Shaq fight, uh, the big show. It was quite impressive. I bet those are two huge dudes. I think the last airbender shows a good job, uh, portraying Asian culture. Portrays a lot of cultures. Native American, uh, Indian. Uh, as in people from India, not the, you know, incorrect kind of Indian that people sometimes call them. Um, blah, 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 blah. The... Fire Nation is portrayed uh, quite accurately. And, I mean, the Air Nomads aren't really portrayed uh, that much, but, you know, there's... We kind of have to overlook that. There's a lot of, you know, Buddhist iconography laying about, but the actual characters themselves are a bit limited as far as airbenders go. But, you know, it is called The Last Airbender, so that makes a certain amount of sense. And it also portrays the people of Florida as the weird swamp benders or whatever. Shaq did better than Snoop Dogg. Well, that's good. Shaq, you know, are, are you saying the guy who was in Shazam did a better job than Snoop Dogg? Because I'm going to go ahead and tell you, that was obvious. Didn't need, didn't need you informing me of that. Yo, Steel? Was he in any other movies? Probably. I know Shazam and Steel. That was it. The main character of Shaq Fu? That guy? Did better than Snoop Dogg? Please. Next you're gonna tell me the sun is hot. Water's wet. Come on, man. I have no idea how I get up there, so stop shooting me. Please, that's all I'm gonna ask. You're in my respect. <laughs> really? He didn't, uh, he didn't lose it after all those films I mentioned? So can I buy from you? What have you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, he's a terrible shot. Uh, I'm gonna buy quickly, though. None of this is important. Awesome. Well, see ya. It was fun, but I got places to be. You know, where I'm not getting shot. Oh, hey, way up. 
Airbenders and their culture aren't portrayed much on the account of all of them, except for Aang being uh, extinct. Yeah, obviously. That was the joke I was making. Apparently, I still can't get up to him. Yeah, I'm just going to let that guy be. That crazy son of a... Thought I killed him. Guess not. Hmm. Since this guy's still kicking. Oh, uh, we will talk no more about the five action or the live action Airbender film. What live action Airbender film? They never made one. They're going to. I heard Shyamalan was behind it. Cool that they never did though. Probably wouldn't have been very good. I liked some of the concept art for it though. Appa, he looked cool. Makiri counter. Just for 7-9, I'm a Kiri countered that guy. Didn't have to. Could have easily avoided it. Decided 7-9 needed more Makiri counters in his life. Boys, please. harrowing. Not for a master of the Makiri counter like me, but you know. One of the ironclad rules of the universe, even such a thing. <laughs> yes, obviously, one of the rules of the universe would be don't talk about it, uh, but of course it doesn't exist, so you know. How can you have a rule for something that doesn't exist? Can you all fuck off? A moment to breathe is all I'm asking for. Christ alive! How many of you are there? I'm here for your items, bitch. Pick it up! I swear to Jeebus. What do you have down here? Yeah, everyone lose me in the water. Oh, good. A book from Kuro on the art of severing ties. W oh, well, this is what he was meant to give me at some point. Herein describes the means to perform the rite of immortal severance. After the first defense falls, search for treasure and imbibe an important item. Okay. I know what that means, but it's kind of spoilery, so I'm not going to comment on it too much. More upgrade material. Uh, hi. You're creepy. Okay, well, that was... That was jolly well creepy. Still? Jesus. I'm here to loot your damn coffin. Oh, cool. There it is. Great Servant is considered to be God of the Land, hard is believed to be... Well, I got both of them. It's safe to assume eating it would poison us to one's health. I think I need to bring both of those to the Divine Child, the one who gave me, quote-unquote, the Immortal Blade. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, Kaida, but I think I meant to bring those to her. Boy, those fish keep coming back, don't they? Item short of performing the right. No, I still need the stone and um, the tree branch. I think I'm two items short. The book is something he gives me, but it's not an item I need to perform the right. More confetti, that's always useful. Whoa! Yeah. Fuck off, everyone. 
So many items, some of them may be important. Like that one. Blood smoke, that could actually be useful. Thank you. Oh good, a pellet. That'll be useful to heal my aching back now that it's been smashed by that man with a giant club. Just rest. Nope, couldn't rest. They found me. Great. Thanks, monkey. Jesus. Yeah, I know. I made the joke earlier that uh, the ideas for this fetch quest of a stone and a branch came to the developers when they looked out a window. Alright, well that calmed everything down a little bit. Well, then he saw me immediately. Come on then, fight me. Make the first move, thank you. Is it too much to ask for one-on-one -on -one combat? Apparently, yes, it is too much to ask for one-on-one -on -one combat. Fuck me. This is the hell it is the randomizer, I suppose, though, eh? I might just go, honestly. I mean, there could be items. In fact, I do see an item over there in the tree, or near the tree. Fuck, I'm just gonna run for it. Whee! You're not an item, you're just a dude! Oh, there's an item. That's what I meant. I was referring to that item the whole time. And that item up there. Yep, definitely needed that. Uh, how do I get there? Oh, alright. Easy enough. Antidote powder. Awesome. Obviously needed those items. Very important, very precious. Just rest. Reset everything. What do you expect from a Sekiro game? Uh, you aren't getting one-on-one -on -one fights unless there are boss battles. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice, though. Anyway, it's this guy. We're at the end of his story. How did you get past all of the shit? My melody. I did not see you coming. Ah, I can hear it. I'm sure the Shamisen player is just beyond here. I knew it. She's been waiting for me the whole time. Sure, yep. She's definitely not draining your essence and vitality or anything for her master. Also, it's definitely going to be the Shamisen player. And not... Who is that? You don't see me. I'm being sneaky. It's a mini-boss, but who are you? Oh, it's one of these guys. Get past all the shit? Dude, he's right in the middle of it. I meant, like, the mist and the village and everything. Hi! That's just one of these guys. The actual Shamisen fight, um... Oh god, I really should've- I could've Makiri countered his leg. 7-9, I hope you can forgive me. I didn't Makiri counter a leg. I'll see if I can get him to do it again. I could've gone for the kill there. Didn't, just for you, 7-9. 
Who's she? Uh, yeah, more or less. He's, n he's not doing the leg thrust move for the Makiri counter. So whatever. So the story with the Shamison woman, who's supposed to be here and not just, you know, this dude... Gonna gonna want to go have thanks for the money. Gonna want to go have a word with uh, our, for lack of a better word, acquaintance. Uh, her kind of thing is that the um, Sakuza. I think the rough story, the too long didn't read version is he was a lord who died, and she's been trying to reunite with him, uh, which she does by playing the magical shamisen to draw people of at least a similar essence. Uh, to her, whereupon she will pretty much steal their essence. Is that you? Are you there, Shinobi? Yes. I must give you my thanks, Shinobi. Your thanks? Something like that, yeah. You brought the Shamisen player to me just a moment ago. She caressed me while playing her sweet a different song than before, like a lullaby, a peaceful, warm melody. She spoke to me, she played. Thank you for coming to me, she said. It turns out she was calling to me this whole time. Shinobi, please. Oh yeah, he's too far gone. Thanks. So yeah, I think if I, uh, if before, like, if I had caught him before, um, he got to this point, I, at any point I could have told him, hey, go to the dungeons, um, at which point he would have been murdered and turned into a mind slave. Uh, he's basically, the journey here took all of his energy, that and the shamisen player. So, hey, you know, she saw him as her master since their essences were similar. He finally got to sort of meet her briefly. Maybe they're happy in death. Who knows? More precious bait. I'm finding a lot of that bait as I get closer to where it's actually needed. Uh, gotta always check under the water now. Oh, hey. You get back here, son. Oh god, I'm all the way back here. Wouldn't have gone in the river if I had known that was the case. Yeah, yeah, you saw me. That thing I was trying to avoid doing, I did it. Came for a VTuber stream, and she did not know what being woke meant. Well, uh, first of all, you're in the wrong place. Secondly, that also might have just been the character, you know. VTuber streams are basically just portraying a character. So, I don't know, whatever character, uh, she was portraying in the, uh, virtual tubing... Might have been, you know, innocent, uh, naive. I didn't want to say ignorant. I don't know anything about it, obviously, but, uh, and it's also possible that, uh, it's just never been used. I want to get, it's not behind the waterfall, but there is a secret in the waterfall. So I want to get at it. There we go. Okay. That was funny, though. Ah, eh, fair enough. You're not a VTuber? Yes, I am. At, uh, 100 subs, I'll reveal my face. Like, my actual face. Cool. That was useless. Ah. Can 
Can I please? Nope. Okay. Have to go the long way around, eh? Or maybe not. This is right here. Which is at least a little bit quicker. All right, now then, progress. Hello, goodbye. Normally that's meant to be a little bit tougher. They're all checking out the house. Interesting. What's so special about that house, guys? Not exactly what I would call grade A resistance. And who could forget the lizard? <laughs> hey, uh, it's safe to come out now. Okay, that's weird. VTubers use virtual avatars, generally animated style ones, among other things when they're streaming. Yeah, no, I'm actually totally a VTuber. It's just hype. I'm, I'm in 8K. I'm one of those 8K VTubers. Like I said, 100 subs, face reveal. Okay. Oh, there's the flame barrel. Cool. Needed that. I do need to pay a visit to the old guy and get him to throw some more prosthetics onto me. So what's up, dude? Such high resolution, right? If only the game looked that good. So what's up? I'll be finishing this game today. Better luck tomorrow. Eh. I'm not that far away from the end of it, honestly. There's like one more big area, I'd say. Maybe two. Depends how you count. One and a half, certainly. I'm only speaking to him because I happen to know I have the item that he needs. Uh, yeah, here's some water of the palace. Thanks. All right, well, he's uh, he's busy enjoying a nice, cool drink of water. Definitely not in a weird, cult-like way. Ishin's letter. Dear Emma, any powerful enemy in a sprawling Buddhist temple appears to be devoid of any required items. The Tengu will take a relaxing vacation. I felt like I have a stroke reading that. Share your floor water with him. I do have water, and he is on the floor, so... Actually, I came through the floor. That's about as close to floor water as you get. More importantly, what the fuck? A powerful enemy in a sprawling Buddhist temple appears. What are they referring to? Are they referring to the folding screen monkeys? I guess maybe. Oh, well. Not really, uh... Here or there. What have we here? Great. It's never something cool, is it? It's just goddamn gunpowder. I don't even get a gun in the game. It's just an upgrade material. 
And what are you then? More gunpowder. Cool. Yo, dog, I heard you like gunpowder. So we put gunpowder in gunpowder so you can powder your gun while your gun is powdering. Shout out to that meme. I miss old memes. Old memes were fun. They were pure. They made sense. Okay, boomer. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Very boomer sort of mentality. Oh! Fuck! <sighs> Alright, we're gonna turn around. I'm gonna go back the way we came for a hot second. We're gonna we're gonna delay that as for as long as I can. That, my friends, is Daddy. That's Owl. I think we fought Owl Father in the tutorial, so that's... Ooh, actually, is that Owl Father or Great Shinobi Owl? One of those is like... Okay, so you may have noticed the boss fights in this point uh, have been somewhat easy. Uh, with the exception of, like, the ape. Games decided it's had enough of my shit. So... Generally, the hardest boss in the game is regarded as uh, Sword Saint Ishin, uh, who's like the final boss of the game. He's insanely difficult. Very, uh, very appropriate final boss. The second hardest boss in the game, usually debated, but a popular answer is Owl Father, which is your dad in the old memory when he was young and spry and had all of his ability. Uh... He fucking murders. The... I think that was the tutorial boss. Usually regarded as, like, the fifth or fourth hardest boss is Older Owl, when he's, like, not as spry. And one of those is the guy standing before me in that spot. So let's, let's just, you know, give me some prosthetics, huh? And then maybe we can see about upgrading some stuff. We got the Mist Raven, we got the Flame Vent, we got the Poison Blade, and we have the Axe. What can I upgrade? Uh, ooh, Spring Loaded Flame Vent. Yep, yep, you'll love to see it. I want the f Lotus Umbrella there. Can I get you? Yeah, Improved Poison Blade. Uh, in order to get to you, I need... Why can't I get you? Unavailable. The aged Mist Raven Feather. Why can't I get the Mist Raven Feather? I have it. Not enough Sen. Oh, I'm poor! Okay. I was gonna say, I had all the materials. Have some uh, Ashina Sake. There are some good New Age memes. Um, most of them are garbage, however. But, like, it seems like the joke for New Age memes is... Of course it's garbage. It's a meme. And it's like, you know, memes didn't always have to be garbage. And I'm kind of waiting for people to get over the, it's garbage, so therefore it's automatically a meme. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reflecting on the olden days. Uh, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop some money real quick. And then we're gonna we're gonna upgrade our tools some more. All right, give me the uh, aged Mist Raven feather and give me this bad boy. Hell yeah! Final tier. Oh yeah, this stuff. Do I have everything? I think I no. I'm missing one thing. Oh, I'm missing two things. Three things? Wow, I'm missing three things. Although it's possible that one is like you know, over here. It's one of the other ones. As it's possible... Okay, so I'm missing two. I'm missing this one and this one. What am I missing? The fan? I'm missing the leaf fan. And... Uh, something else. I don't know. Uh, firecracker upgrade could be nice. Uh, oh yeah, the more kunai. That would be, that'd be good. Alright. Alright, so to upgrade my prosthetics, first of all, I need the Lotus Umbrella. I want the Lazuit Shuriken. 
And yeah, give me the spring loaded firecrackers. Not a bad setup. Alright, who's ready for a ridiculously hard boss fight? The depths? Oh, good. There's a mini boss there. Awesome. You know what? I'm actually going to go check out the mini boss so I can delay fighting that bad guy back. Oh, boy. You can tell there's a mini boss there because I can't warp back there. How do I get there? I thought it was back this way. Oh, I guess it is. Bye, bitch. So who's down here? What mini boss spawned in when I wasn't looking? Who are you? Another drunkard? Alright, sure. I'll fight a drunkard. Let's delay the inevitable for as long as we possibly can, shall we? Well, he fucking found me. Joke's on him. I'm crazy strong. That sword just went through me. Didn't know there was like an invincibility frame window if he got close to him. Yeah, it's... Guess there's an iframe window if you're up in his shit. Alright, well, phew, that took a lot of shit. <laughs> Hoping to magically look over and it be the end of the stream. Alright, well, it, it, it's time to face the music. I've had it... I've had it pretty good for a lot in this run. My health is through the roof. My strength is pretty good. Let's, uh... Let's face the music with, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game. If it's Owl Father, I have a chance. If it's Great Shinobi Owl, I'm fucked. And, like, I should go and do other things. Like that memory that they gave me the bell to access. Wish there was a closer spawn-in point. Bye. <laughs> Awareness. It's important in games. I guess I could check up on this guy real quick. Excuse me. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. I wonder if that had anything to do with my actions. Probably not, right? A coincidence. That's all it was. You can't prove I did that? <clears throat> That's what floor water turns you into, by the way. So 7-9, be careful next time you see floor water. You could turn up looking like that. Alright, let's do this. Hi, Dad. Been a while, hadn't it? Yo, maybe I... I mean, I'm, I'm tanking this like a champ. Maybe I, maybe I can take this. Ridiculously high attack power for the win! I think I'm busted in this game. Oh, is he gonna beg for mercy? He didn't beg for mercy. Oh wait, he's begging for mercy. Or he's meant to be begging for mercy. Show him no mercy! Fuck me. Sheep son of a bitch. Alright, well one health bar is better than none, right? Stop trying to poison me! Oh my god! Would you walk onto him, please? That little grenade he throws, by the way, interrupts my healing. 
Ow. Also, stabbing me in the face. You fuck off with that. Alright. Dead. God, fuck him with the poison again. Fuck off with that anti healing bomb. Alright, hey, guess what? Having a crap ton of health, posture, and uh, attack power makes this game really easy. That boss fight took me like an hour the first time I played this game. You'll love to see it. Frozen Tear. Well, fuck me. <laughs> tear that were shed by the Divine Child of Rejuvenation once she became uh, the Cradle. They were but frozen drops. By having Kuro drink the Dragon Tear and the Frozen Tears, the Cradling Ritual can be performed. Cold Tears are just that. Yep, so that's the Dragon Tears. I got them now. I just need Frozen Tears, it sounds like. Or no, I have the, the Dragon Tears. I need, like, Tears of the Divine Child. But let's head to, um, the Mystic Realm, shall we? Oh, I, do I have the bell for it? Uh-oh. I need an item to head into the Mystic Realm, the Divine Realm. And I don't know if I have it. Uh-oh. Ah, <clears throat> memo detailing whereabouts of a short sword. All right, uh, well, let's see what it says. It probably doesn't say that, but I still needed it, so. Uh, it was this one, right? We found in sprawling sanctuary of devotees, its wielder... It was wielded in Olds of War and is now underwater. Oh, yeah. It's referring to the mortal blade, I think. Or something, I don't really know. I think I have whatever it's referring to as the thing. Wish I, uh, wish I had the right piece, because I got the dragon mask and, uh, the left piece. I just need the right piece. Uh, shelter stone such as this is an auspicious omen. Uh, yep. A thrust defense awaits an early game location. <laughs> you mean the Makiri counter? Thanks. Oh, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I don't have the bell. Crap. Hmm. Alright, well, um... What to do? I can go to the memory, I guess. After that, I really have no idea where I can go. I'll go and speak to, uh... The Divine Heir... Uh, Sempo, I need... Oh, it's in important places. What am I doing? The Inner Sanctum. I'll speak to her about it, because I've got persimmons and snake fruits and whatnot. And there's something I can do with that there. Hey, kid, been a while. Boy, you've missed some shit. Shinobi of the Gimua. Thanks. Shinobi, this rice? Is I don't need more rice. I need you to fucking do the thing with the persimmons. Is that it? God damn it. Alright. Alright, I'll talk to uh, Kuro and Emma then. You have to use the rice three times. Oh. Yeah. That sounds right. More like that sounds rice. <laughs> So 
I have Dragon Tears, or... Uh, well. Yeah, I need, like, a bunch of items at this point to get the items or to look in for new areas. There's, like, a whole... There's, like, the final act of the game that won't trigger, I don't think, until I've gotten the items. But there's also a whole other area I can't get to because I don't have the items for it. I still don't understand. It appears as though your body is no longer come and see. I will. Do I have any gourd seed? Nope. Okay. Uh, have some unrefined sake. Here. Oh, if this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake. Wish I'd given it to him. She is a swordswoman as well. Anyway. Uh, sure, have some oxygen, it's okay. You've earned a drink or two. Mostly drinking, though. Really difficult patient. Wouldn't say much. Oh yeah, it does sound bad. Do you know what I'm talking about? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Forget I mentioned it. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the Harata Estate. I'm gonna go to the main hall. I'm gonna look for items around here because I didn't really do that when I was here. Maybe I'll find something. If not, I'm going to go ring the bell to get to the other part of the memory. Wrong way. We've reached that fun part in every randomizer where it's like, well, uh, now I kind of need to do a lot of uh, scrounging around for important items to progress the plot. All right. Lightning Poochiana for Sinnoh remake confirmed. C79, I can do that joke too. In fact, I can do it quicker than you because I'm playing the game. Get fucked. Excuse you. So I don't know if we ever actually learned about it in game, but I know from having played this, if you're ever struck by lightning, just be in the air and then you can like counter the lightning by swinging your sword because you're not grounded. So, you know, that's how that works, right? Pellet, that wasn't useful. Well, it's kind of useful. Mercury counter the lightning. It's not a Mercury counter, but it is a counter for the lightning. The Mercury specifically refers to thrusting weapons. The lightning counter does have some special name, but it's not Mercury. Hmm. Disappointing the items uh, in there. Let's hoping for something a little bit more. Slightly more valuable. Ah, eh, well. I think I got all the stuff over there. And killed the Mist Noble who's hanging out. And she'll pull off uh, Kakashi. Yeah, something like that. As long as you're in the air, you can redirect the lightning. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, that, didn't, that didn't pan out or take as much time as I thought it would. Uh, I am rinsing bosses. I can't believe Owl uh, Father was that easy. That was Owl Father. That was not Great Shinobi Owl. Great Shinobi Owl might have been a legitimate concern. But yeah, no, I guess my strength being fucking through the roof and my health bar the size of, you know, an 18-wheel truck. Eh, that'll do that.
Wasn't I meant to... Hold on. I thought I thought I offered the bell. Did, did it change anything? Is this different? It seems like this is the same place. Uh, I'll go ahead and confess I've never actually done this part of the game. I know it exists. I've seen some YouTube videos of it. I personally have never played this part of the game. So... I don't know if it's different or not. I swear I have the bell. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I swear I have the bell for it. It's, uh, the father, right? Beltron previously owned by the owl. Yeah, so... I have it. I give it to that shrine, and then it's meant to be different, right? Do I need to run through the whole damn thing again? Did you offer the bell to Buddha? It didn't give me a chance! Also, for, yeah, get off. First and foremost, get the fuck off me. It's like half my health. What do you mean, offer the bell to Buddha? I'll head back to the... It might not allow you with having defeated Lady Butterfly. I need the key for that! And it says there's an important item in this memory! But yeah, I came up here and I just... I prayed and it, like, took me away. Go find the key. I, <sighs> Great. Where the hell could the key be? Yeah, just go find the key in this randomizer, of course. Where the hell could the key be? Uh, a lot of places is the thing. I, I don't believe I was, you know, the most thorough. Would you like a hint? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any place in particular... That I haven't really done a thorough once over of. No, no. I, it's again. I can believe I missed an item somewhere, but it's it's not telling me. And my brain is like, I mean, it could be any one of these. I can believe I just glanced over an item and missed it. All right, give me a hint. Don't just straight up tell me where it is, but, you know. Hint away. Because the, alter the alternative is I just go through the game again. Ashina Outskirts Courtyard. Alright, so it's somewhere in... It's probably a little specific. Uh... I mean, here's the outskirts. I'll just... I was going to say, I'll go through the game again looking for it. I guess I'd have found it pretty quickly if it's in the Ashina outskirts. Right over the hill. In the courtyard. Courtyard is vague. That could be a lot of places. That said, I'll look around. I do not fear death at this point. For example, that didn't phase me at all. I remember when I was young and this part of the game was rough. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And then I found 300,000 memories like in the first 10 minutes. And I became unstoppable force. Hmm. Oh, oh, there is an area. Oh my god, I completely forgot. There's an area I haven't really... This is where the bull was. Remember the bull, gang? The blazing bull? Ah, the memories. There is an area I completely forgot about that I don't remember how to get to, is the problem. Yeah, yeah, something saw me. See my ass as I run away. Just for the hell of it. 
Mainly to freak out the monkey that's around here somewhere. Because I know there is one. I am suddenly, like, remembering a place I haven't been yet where I know there are items kicking about. But the thing is, I don't remember how to get there. Specifically, it's right there. I don't remember how the hell one gets in there. Because let me show you, gang. There's a door right here that leads to it, but it doesn't open from this side, and I'll be damned if I remember how to get over there. It's like it's around this way. I guess I could fight the headless that's in here. I have the divine confetti. I'm probably going the complete wrong way, but I mean... Like I said, I remember something being over there. Oh, I think I remember. Alright. Yeah, it, it's kind of coming back to me. I remember sort of how I get there. That's probably not right. And I'll need more help later, but I do kind of remember where I'm going now. Where's my confetti, bitch? Actually, let me, uh pacify myself first, take a few drugs, and then bulk up on this confetti. Headless, you son of a bitch, where are ya? Not bad assault. <clears throat> Got him. Oh, hey, a prayer beat. Cool. <laughs> nice. So anyway, running past him is how one got to that bell from before. But there's another exit in this cave is the fun part. Lord knows I can't remember how to get there, though. Apparently this way. Whee! Yeah, all right. So through here. Yep, this is the way. All right. I'd completely forgotten about this. It might be over here. If it's not over here, I might need yet another hit. Possession balloon. Alright, so here's the door open now. Is it one of these items? Nope. Although that is nice. There it is. Yep. Hidden temple key. Given by Owl. The secret temple okay at the very back of Harada State. Two! The Lord is absolute. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring it back at any costs. There it is. Well. That's embarrassing. That's been available for most of the streams, honestly. Being 100% honest. Uh, pants, physical attributes. We got more prayer beads. Now let's get to the Harada estate and finally see what's in this chamber. All right, who's hiding out here? First of all, I guess I'll look at the lore of the uh, necklaces again. Lone Shadows are the Interior Ministry's most trusted agents, each of the leader uh, Masatsuna Oribe's 17th born has a specialty uh, from poison to shinobi hounds. 
So yeah, there are uh, a bunch of the dudes in the purple with the hat who like have the kicks and whatnot. They're the lone shadows, as they're called. Fucking shut up. And um, yeah, they are mini bosses. They each have a specialty. Some are poisonous. There's the one guy who summoned hounds. All right, let's see. Oh, hey. We're going to do the full cutscene and everything. So, remember, we're back in time at this point. Remembering what happened three years ago. That butterfly. Everyone is gone. My lord. <laughs> I forgot I was Cloud. Two and a half hours into this damn stream and I forgot I was Cloud. <laughs> cloud Strife just runs up. I completely forgot. Lady Butterfly. I've killed you twice already. Lady Butterfly. Leave us. Who are we? Do what must be done. Yes. Plot, even though I haven't been paying attention. I haven't really either. It's a randomizer. But, I mean... Really, it's just, hey, it's set up for Lady Butterfly, who, again, we've killed twice already, so. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> you again? Oh, my God. Sure. Why not? Lady Janichiro. This guy fucking can't stay gone. And he's done. Cool. Janichiro, how many times are we going to do this? Oh, that was easy. Not anymore. He ain't. He's dead. Oh, wait. She has a stage two of the fight. And it has two health bars. Who is it? Oh, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's Janichiro, everyone. He's back. I killed him. And now his stage two is the stage before he fights. He has two health bars now. My God. All right, Janichiro, what's up? Phase two, he put his clothes back on. Yeah, you aren't kidding. He is actually, I think, a little bit harder in this form because he uses the bow and arrow. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have Makiri countered that. Seven nines teachings. Nothing beats the Makiri counter. Just use that all the time. usually vice versa. Yeah, well, randomizer, what are you gonna do? In the normal game, he gets stronger by taking his clothes off. And he's dead. Alright, well, that wasn't terribly interesting. Um, you wanna... Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, another gourd seed, cool. So, uh, alright, well, there he goes. He figured it out. Anyway, so, yeah, didn't I start the game in a pit? How did that happen? A little weird. I'll be fine. See, normally that happens to Eris. It's cool. In the new Final Fantasy, they uh, change the ending so Cloud dies and you have to play as, like, Eris, Tifa, and Barrett. And Vincent and Yuffie. And Red. Honestly, you play as everyone except Kate Sith, because no one uses Kate Sith. That guy sucks. She 
Shout out, by the way, to PlayStation for saying, hey, PlayStation Plus, Final Fantasy VII Remake is free, but if you get that version, you do not have access to the update that releases uh, the Yuffie episode. You need to pay $60 for it. It's a free update if you bought the game, but if you got the game for free on PlayStation Plus, you don't get that update. Thanks, kid. <laughs> well, that was fun. What the hell was that about? It appears as though your old memories have been awakened. Yes, I saw a divine heir. I see. I see. I won't say any more, and neither should you. But I will. All that you saw was yours alone. Okay, but I have another bell, so. Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you? <laughs> just fucking what you saw is yours oh what did it show you fucking what did I just say cloud strife flames spreading as far as the eye can see and consuming Ashina Janichiro's whole boss fight was hiding down there anyway uh oh we are done here so I have another bell okay well uh Cool. So I have this other bell that I didn't present to it. Do I have to reload the area or like is it is it new now? It's new. We got it. We're in the new area. I've never been here before. But it spawned me here for some reason. I could go back, but I don't want to. Uh oh. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah. Really? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. This guy? Hey, he got me. Woo, he's tough. So, I should've McCarried. Yeah, I should've. What happened there, uh, this is where I fight my father, who's the man who betrayed me. Um... Yeah, no, this is like the third mini-boss in the game I'm fighting. New area. <laughs> sure, sort of new area. This guy exists within the game to teach you how to Makiri counter. He's like purely a check for it. That said, he hits hard. I think they scaled him for this position in the game. What's he doing here? That's like a mini-boss. Bam. And he's dead. Well, that was tricky. Memory of the Headless Ape? That's worth having, I guess. Alright. So. Oh, hey. Oh, no, maybe. Oh, there's a mini boss there. That wasn't actually. Okay. I was mistaken. Having never been to this part of the game, I don't know what's going on. That was just a straight up mini boss. It was some dude. So now I don't know what's happening. Great. That was an excellent one-two counter. Dog, no. Fuck, fucking kill the dog. Thank you. Biggest threat right now. Stupid lightning and dies in one hit. There we go. Alright, so this is strictly speaking new. We're in uncharted territory. I thought that was the boss fight. I was like, well, that was so fucking easy. Nope, that was a mini boss. Oh, I have a memory. I should, uh, I should do that. Memory of the Headless Ape. You'll love to see it. Give me, give me one second. 
Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I guess you, for now. I don't really need you until one boss fight in particular. There's the loaded axe. Stupid fucking shield. You love to see it broke, though. <coughs> There's another drunkard? Where? I don't see him. Apparently he lost me. Who the hell was he? There's items up here. Yeah, someone... Oh, hey, what's up? Someone over there is seeing me. I just don't know who. Alrighty. No idea who that is, but someone over there is trying to pick a fight with me. Shizu. Oh, is that the Shamisen lady? Is the Shamisen lady hanging around? Alright, what the fuck was that? Ow. Oh, it's this guy. Right, yep, it, it's all coming back to me. I remember you. Right, forgot about him. Mercury, you'll love to see it. Some sugar. Oh, hey. Fuck him. Frickin' dogs, I swear. Yeah, you were real threatening there, champ. Had me on the ropes, that guy did. Check for items real quick. That cricket bothering me, for God's sakes? Sure is. And some dude. Like coin purse, sugar... They're meant to be an important item around here. Maybe it's a head. Who knows? There are items around here. Lots of items around here. Interesting. Pellet. Secret passage key! Package that leads to Ashina Temple. Secret passage can be found at the moat. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, sure. Thanks for that. It's not like that's, like, one of the first items I get ever in the game. I'll just <laughs> keep that. Already been looted. Cool. Alright, now then, the important question. hi -ya. What the f- get off me! Get the fuck off me! Get off me! God damn thing. Ugh. Hate that guy. Um, hi. Waiting on someone? I'll wait with you. There we go. Love to see it. Okay, so... Where's the old woman? Huh. Oh, weird. That's... That doesn't make any sense. The old woman and her son are here. 
but they exist in the present. What the hell's that about? How is she dead? She's alive in the present. Or was alive in the present. She gave me the damn bell. Anyone? Eh, no one. Go to the present, they're both dead. Well, but they weren't! Was, was I, like, deceiving myself the whole time? Who is that? I don't know who that is. It's possible she that the final boss will be just some schmuck. It is possible. Was I just, like, blinded this whole time and I thought I was having a conversation with them? Who the... Oh, it's Ishin. Hey, buddy. Ishin father. This is the hardest boss in the game. Ahem. Could also be the dragon. Well, it's not Ishin. He's here. Didn't it say I get nothing important here? That's great news. Ow! Do you see why? Hey, even he can be Makiri countered. Ow. Oh my god. Well, that was fun. Uh, it said there was something required, but that it could have been that key. The key for the thing I opened long ago and far away? Thanks, buddy. Get the key at the end as well. What key at the end? Cool! Huh. It said there was something required, but it could have been the key. You get the key at the end as well. Yeah, but it also said there were no items required in the memory. It just said there was like... I, I have some conflicting information, I think. The secret passage key, it's how you get to the final area. Oh, that one, yeah. Because yeah, there's one like, um... Yeah, the notes, right? Uh, after the first defense falls, search for an... Uh, yeah, I, so I need to progress the game as far as that, at the very least, obviously. Uh, my dragon, powerful enemy... Hidden by a high priest of a mid-game location. Dragon Tears. Yeah. After a kite ride, you'll find an important ability. You'll be guarded by a powerful enemy. Yeah, it's the Mibu breathing technique. I got that one. Uh, yeah, that's the prize tally board. Nothing required in the depths of Ashina. Denizens of Valley. Such places are appropriate offerings for oneself in the marriage of the Brave Certain. Uh, when we broke into leaderless Ashina, we found an important item. Boys lit a roaring fire. Yeah, I got that already. One message deleted. Uh, timed out for 600 seconds. Why? What did HP flagpole say? Uh, I suppose I could, you know, check. That oh, doesn't tell me. Hmm, yeah, well. I'm, I'm sure Nathan used some good judgment there. Was it just like a... Uh, was it just a bot being like, want to get rich? 
usually what it is. There's a bot asking to buy followers. Yeah. See, I swear I saw something that said it's like there's nothing required in the memory. Or like the boss in here isn't required. But then I don't know where to go is the problem. I need the bell that gets me to... Um... Well, no, because it said there's nothing important in the spirit realm. Hmm. But I thought I needed to, like, do the spirit realm in order to progress the game. Isn't that, like, a flag that needs to be checked? What the hell else could I do other than fight this guy? At this point, I, I'm, all, I'm, all I've really got time for is trying him again. Run up state. Sempo. No. Castle. No. I, I have no idea. All I can think is to fight this guy. Who's ridiculously tough, so that'll be fun. You're stuck. Unless, unless this guy weirdly drops something in the game isn't very good about telling me what I need. Then, yeah, I'm stuck. Hardest boss in the game right here, slash one of the hardest fights I've ever had to do in all of my video gaming career, slash history. I keep wanting to jump over him, but he's Makiri countering, exposing. Like so. Ow. See, that would have been a great time to jump over him. Unlike there, which was a great time to die. Why not ask Kaida for some hints? Well, let me let me fight this guy first. That's probably a good way to end the stream. Fighting this guy in his three health bars. Cool! If you thought that was kind of tough, stage two is where it really kicks off. What up, guy with a fucking spear? Why did I think I would jump over that? Jesus. Oh, and he has a gun. That, that I would have jumped over. At least there's pillars to break up the attacks. Is it, probably this is the best arena I could have hoped for this in. It's kind of big and there's plenty of like space and pillars to break up his attacks. Dude has another stage after three health bars? No, it's just the three health bars. Fuck me. Fuck me! I'm trying to get a heal in. He's no slouch. That and me, you know, fighting this guy gives Kaida plenty of time to look and see what it is I need to do. You should be doing that so that when I get stuck, you have an answer and not just, you know, farting around not doing anything. But, you know, I'm sure you were already on that, right? So, yeah. Deaf ears, that's fallen upon. I'm gonna unequip you. M. Because I like the, uh, I'm waiting for the go ahead. Thank you. I prefer the guarding strike as opposed to the Makir, or the Ichimon. Me being helpful? Who do you think I am? Uh.
forgot that was a three hit combo. Get me carried. That was not a Makiri counter moment. That might have been. I haven't really successfully tried Makiri countering that. I just guard through it. Oh god, the spear. I forgot. How can I forget the spear? Gotta love the Makiri counter. Love that Makiri. Long spear is long. Okay, all righty. Fuck your gun. Get Makiri countered. Cool, stage three time. That's the fun one where lightning gets introduced. Can you tell? <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide behind this pillar real quick, don't mind me. Meant to jump on his head, really appreciate that. Woo! That could have been death. I'm trying to counter the lightning. I don't know why it's not working. I jump in the air and I swing my sword. Oh God. I've done like no damage to him. Really, it's just Makiri counter and hope. Slash Goomba Stomp, apparently. Oh, I'm dead. There's no way. Oh, my God, I lived. Buddy, we should all calm down. Have ourselves a nice little breather. Let yourself get Makiri countered, you know, all your favorite hobbies. Not that one though. Yo, hi. I hate it, I hate it. Oh, I got him. Yes. Mm, when it counted. Roll credits. I beat him. Whoo. Um, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of stuck there, so... Ooh. 
Oh, that's a rough boss fight. Still is. Nobody asked you to be helpful in the first place? I don't say that. 7 is good fun. Oh, good, he dropped fat wax. But while we we're on the subject of you being helpful, why don't you use your spells to help token? I mean, he did. A lot of Mercury countering. A green gourd. Great. Alright, well, hey. That was that. Uh, I don't... I don't know what I can do now. I guess I'll go back to, um, the temple? I'll hang out here, and, like, that'll be it. Uh, tomorrow I'll ask where the hell I go. Probably be the end of the stream. I suppose he did. Yeah, I'm a Kiri countered all day. Every Makiri counter is because 7-9 keeps believing in the ability of Makiri counter. Which is half meme, half really what I need to do. Alright, well, that was it. Do I have any uh, new ones? or? Lord knows I don't. <laughs> Just slap my arm. Alright, well, that is going to be it today. Tomorrow will probably be the finale. Uh, all I really need to do is get into um, the spirit world, I think, and uh, clear that checkpoint flag, and then I think the end of the game happens. Like, I think you need to do the spiritual realm, or whatever it's called, and then, like, a flag ticks, and it's the final part of the game. Which, yeah, it should be one stream. Maybe a little longer stream, but it's only one stream. So, tomorrow the finale of Sekiro. After that, on Sunday, uh, Danganronpa. So, until then, I'll talk to you later, shrewd negotiators. Love you all and be good people.